this is the yard uh, where ECO 3 is being built. We're down in New Zealand, down in Wellington at the moment. We'll try and give you a, a brief overview of the amount of work that's going into the boat. Being a Saturday, it's actually quite quiet. It's probably 10 or so working on the boat. Normally we've got 30. We started in November uh, with a small crew. We built a, uh, a one-off female mould. This was done incredibly accurately using computer cut frames and a great deal of care actually setting it all up. And the end result was a mould that stayed dimensionally perfect and the boat came out of the mould and needed no filler. So there was a big weight saving in there. Okay, we're up here at the front of the boat. At the moment, although she doesn't look particularly ready, all that's left to do is to put on the, the deck hardware and to paint it. We fitted one of the dagger boards, which you can just see there sticking out, and the other one's going to be fitted shortly. These dagger boards weigh about 60 kilos each, and they're quite unwieldy. This is the first time this dagger board's actually been put in. which the mould was CNC machined so the mould itself is pretty much perfect so the initial shaping should be pretty good maybe just like oh, a little bit of paint on there to just move it off so this is the back section of the boat we're just finishing some work off in here this is the cockpit floor where the main winches are and this section is the tanks and the ballast system as you can see work is still ongoing these pipes here are for the exhausts, for the engine and the generator. Um, still to be connected up, they will run aft underneath the bulkhead here and out through the back of the boat. As you can see, the boat's all painted and ready to go, just all masked up at the moment. Final deck gear is starting to go on and uh, we've just very recently heard the news that the Royal Highness Princess Anne has a agreed to name the boat at the Southampton Boat Show. So that's put an extra um, bit of uh, spur on activity here. away from the boat coming out of the shed uh, they're going to bring her out turn around and get her ready to go on the truck it's quite exciting seeing the boat outside it looks very very different from the from the light in the shed it looks fantastic and uh, everyone's pretty excited lots of photo photos being taken and we're just trying to avoid everyone photographing our widgets and gadgets and uh, sending them off to the yachting press but uh, no it looks fantastic very exciting uh, a culmination of, um, of well over 26,000 man-hours when we take into account the, the small changes and, and additions that Mike wanted to the boat to make it just the perfect one-day boat for him, we're probably looking around about 28,000 man-hours. She'll leave on Sunday evening as quite a spectacular load at uh, around 6 metres wide and 18 metres long. She'll head out uh, through the local town and off over the hills um, as she's not allowed on the motorway. So she has a long trip up, very restricted in when she can be on the road and will arrive in Auckland. The plan is 5 o'clock on Tuesday morning when we'll all be there ready. It's straight into Keelon first thing in the morning and then we've got some painting and some fairing to do around the keel and then we're looking for the first launch of the boat is planned for the 8 o'clock on Wednesday morning and that's going to be the Echo of the 3 program in the water.
Well, it's fantastic to see the boat here in New Zealand uh, completing a 180 test. The boat's brand new, out of a box. Okay, well, here we are finally at the end of a sort of long stint of work uh, getting the boat ready. But as you can see, the boat looks stunning. And now here we are in the pair in the boat for her shipment back to the UK. After a month she'll be back in the UK. We've got the naming by Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, at the Southampton Boat Show and then a very busy programme in the build-up uh, to our racing schedule which starts in November at the Transaction Act Barb.